Hello friends, welcome back to part 2 of Jitse Meet video series. Today you will learn about top 22 features of Jitse Meet. For that, I will open my blog post for the reference. If you want to read complete article, I will drop a link in the description. So let's start guys. Let's skip the blog post to the features list. As you can see, first point is up to 75 participants and up to 30 for best experience. If you want to increase this limit, you can host your own instance of Gisti Meet. Second point is public or private chat. This feature comes out of the box with Gisti Meet. The third feature is can blur the background. While on a video conferencing, if you do, if you do not want others to see your background, you can just use beta feature can blur the background and your background will be blurred. Fourth point is integrate with Slack's Google Calendar and Office 365. The best feature I like of this Meet is its integration with Slack and Google Calendar. You can share your screen at 725 resolution without pausing presenter's video. This means if you are sharing your screen, your video won't pause and your friends will continue watching you. Sixth feature is mute individuals or all participants. This is a great feature if you want to mute someone or someone is disturbing you or the noise is coming from some participants mic, you can mute them. If you are moderator, you can kick individuals or all participants. Eighth point is, if a user is disconnected for 60 seconds, server will kick him from chat. This means, if there are host users, you don't need to kick them. The server will take care of it. Ninth feature is lower audio levels of specific participants. If someone is speaking at louder voice, you can lower their sounds by using this feature. Tenth point is peer to peer or conference call. This means if there are only two participants, then the connection will be one to one. And if there are more than two participants, the call will be conference call. 11 point is simulcast for perfect bandwidth and video quality management. Let me explain you what is simulcast. Every browser which supports simulcast feature will be recording three streams which will be like 720p, 480p and 320p and will be sending all the three qualities to the server. And then server will decide how much bandwidth is available to the client and accordingly it will send best video quality so that it will it won't exceed bandwidth estimations it's like if your internet connection is weak you will be receiving 320p quality and if your internet space is better you will be receiving 720p quality 12th point is customizable ui vi interface config.js file for that you don't need to learn programming you can just pass your configuration and the UI will be customizable for you. 13 point is server client level configuration via a config.js file. By default, Jitsi Meet offers you to configure your self hosted Jitsi platform via config.js file. Config.js file allows you to customize more than 100 parameters, and some of them are audio processing and video constraints and encoding decoding settings. The 14 point is out of the box solution for all type of audio processing including noise cancellations. You won't face much noises when you are talking on Jitsi Meet. 15 point is end to end encryption for high security for your privacy. This feature is in beta mode and you can use straight away. If you are not happy with customizable UI from configuration file, you can design your own user interface 
by writing customer HTML CSS. If you don't know HTML CSS, you can hire a freelancer and he will do for you. 17th feature is you can control quality of your self-hosted video calls by passing video call constraints which includes limiting max resolution as well as max frame per second. With these features, you can limit your users to only record streams at 720p or 480p and also allows you to set max frame per second. So if your client's browser support 30 FPS and you want them to only send 15 FPS to the server, you can limit bypassing max frame per second constraint. 18 feature is conference call. That means the calls with more than two participants are routed through video bridge developed by Jitsi, which out of the box manage bandwidth estimations and quickly decide the best quality your clients should see in order to keep bandwidth at constraints. 19 feature is full HD video support. Being a web RTC based platform, Jitsi Meets allows you to do conference call at 1080p resolutions. 20th point is VP8 codec with support of H.264 available. However, community is working hard to provide VP9 support, which is better than H.264 and equally better to H.265 codec. You can simply think VP9 as a 40% efficient as compared to VP8 and H.264 codecs. 21 feature is for better quality sounds, Jitsi provide options to enable stereo sounds. 22 point is live streaming supports. You can do live streaming via Jitsi Meet by integrating YouTube and other online streaming platform. Alright guys, these were the top 22 best features of Jitsi Meet. I hope these features are enough to conclude that Jitsi Meet is a highly feature rich platform. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment top 5 features you like the most about Jitsi Meet in the comment section below. See you soon guys.